people are very much afraid of bad combinations according to me there is nothing to be afraid of see one thing we should understand as an astrologer it is my duty to tell the truth right it serves no purpose to tell only good things to person of course good things will come to pass in his life he will rejoice our duty as an astrologer essentially is to tell the negative things so that the person can take care of it the same goes with negative and bad combinations also why sages have told us about bad things you know i do pure classical astrology without any whim or fancy right it is all backed up by sages so why our sages have told us the bad combination so that we understand that what bad karma we have done in previous life to get this particular result and in this particular life we don't repeat it rather we remain careful and be ready to face the bad results being ready preparing beforehand will help alleviate the suffering and also that we can take up remedial measures these remedial measures generally spiritual in nature not only alleviate the suffering but also help us do good karma which further improves our future life in the same line <clears throat> today i am going to deal with a combination which is understand understood as a very bad combination but there are some misconceptions regarding it also that is grahana yoga eclipse birth in an eclipse see <clears throat> there is no two thought that eclipse is a bad omen that is happening and astrology basically works on the principle of good time and bad time so if someone is born at the time of eclipse it is a bad time to be born in starting something in eclipse being born in eclipse question asked in eclipse have a very bad impact what are those bad impacts how we can tackle it i am going to deal about that only in the case of a mahurta when you are going to start something marriage etc eclipse should be completely avoided in mahurta it is told as such that whichever rashi and whichever nakshatra is involved in eclipse that have to be left out for the next 6 at least 4 months for any good purpose you say eclipse happened in taurus so for the next 6 months there should be no good work done when moon is in taurus or when ascendant is in taurus this is what it meant the uses in muhurta is completely based on our choice so there is no remedy for that we just have to avoid it in the case of prashna asked in an eclipse the answer have to be negative right <clears throat> in that particular scenario because prashna is also suggestive one should be careful not to do that particular thing for which she have asked the prashna now coming to our main topic of natal chart see eclipse is fairly misunderstood people think that if rahu or ketu go with sun it is an eclipse that's false it is not this way eclipse can only happen on amavasya or purnima in amavasya what happens sun and moon are together in the same sign in purnima what happens sun and moon are one seven to each other that means moon is in seventh to sun or sun is in seventh to moon so only in amavasya purnima when sun or moon are conjoined or they are mutually seventh to each other if they also happen to join with rahu or ketu so you say sun and moon in same sign with rahu or ketu or sun with ketu moon with rahu in seventh to sun or sun with rahu moon with ketu in seventh to sun will actually count for an eclipse birth right now eclipse what is eclipse called eclipse is called grahan grahan is what possession taking control of planets are also called graha for this particular reason because they take over our mind this is how the planets work when the activation of the planet comes 
as per the shantar the sha also and as per the planetary transits that we are going in as per these times what particularly happens that whichever planet is ruling in the shantar the sha in transit we start thinking like that planet we start having behavior character like that planet and we get interested towards doing those things which the planet want us to do and no one in this world is free of this no matter how strong your mind is how strongly you think how strongly you pledge the control of planets over people is very huge it cannot be avoided at any situation classics have gone to saying such an extent in fact parashar himself have gone to say you know have, have said to such an extent that even the work of the incarnations like ram krishna narsingh vaman etc are all ruled by planets you see whenever you read a purana gods will go to vishnu and vishnu will say when right time will come i will take in now what is this right time this is nothing except for the time when the stars align in such a condition when if someone is born he will do a particular task he will do a particular thing so one should understand that even incarnations of god are only doing those things which are controlled by planet for this particular reason in classics you will see even the horoscope of ram krishna hanuman and all of that mentioned as well right because everyone accepts this fact so as a human you don't think that i will be able to surpass the influence of planets or planets are not working on me this just shows the shallowness of your knowledge that's so now coming to grahan see graha is also the same thing you know possessing over the mind and grahan is also the same thing possessing over the mind right so basically what is happening what i told you what i just explained you that planets are ruling you feeding you thoughts giving you thinking nature behavior character as per their significations this is what our sages have sages have realized and they have made the science astrology astrology right now coming to grahan in this eclipse combination because it is called grahan itself the impact on the mind is very very huge because of this particular reason you see the person is possessed by a thought see why grahan is considered very very bad because any type of possession sticking to a thought clinging to a thought is not very good one have to be partial one have to be neutral one have to be free of illusion but grahan what grahan does in the other hand it possesses your mind of a particular thought it takes your mind in a particular direction and the possession is so great that the person is person will never be able to see his own faults for this particular reason in the case of eclipse my first advice to people always is to practice neutral thinking and see your own faults before putting blame at others right <clears throat> this is the first lesson that eclipse gives you now let's let's understand what is happening in eclipse the story goes that when from the churning of ocean 14 gems came out kamdenu and konj and dhanvantari and last lakshmi came in last came in second last i think lakshmi was there and then came the nectar this nectar was to be distributed between gods and demons but was not give, was not to be given to demons because they had wrong approach because they had wrong thinking because they were against the gods because they were against the good forces so vishnu takes avatar of mohini and, is, and mohini was very beautiful and it starts distributing the nectar in this distribution what mohini does he gives nectar to gods and does not give it to demons rahu finds it out and finding it out he changes his form from a demon to a god and sits in the line of god he is ultimately served the nectar he drinks it 
and just at the same point of time sun and moon identify that it is rahu why sun and moon are able to identify why others are not able to identify because sun and moon are the eyes of the cosmic being eyes of the parmatma what you can call super soul so any maya any illusion can be there for normal gods can be there for humans but it cannot be for the parmatma it cannot be for the super soul the eyes of the super god sees everything so does the sun and moon and they tell vishnu that this is happening rahu have sit in the line of gods and he is consuming nectar shri vishnu tells his sudarshan chakra shri vishnu throws his discus sudarshan chakra that cuts the throat of rahu right but because he have already drank the nectar the head becomes a separate the body becomes separate and they continue to live because they have drank the nectar the head comes to be known as the head remains to be known as rahu and the body becomes to be known as ketu now if you see in this complete process what is happening there are some very very major learnings here point number 1 rahu and ketu are not authoritative to drink nectar because of their nature behavior character which makes them a demon right they are not eligible for it but still they set on the line fooling everyone so what does eclipse combination generally tells that the person is not eligible for things but somehow by luck they get it so this presents a good store good part of the combination also that unworthy people with these combinations can also get the things now what we should do as a human see human life is all about improvement the gods and demons cannot do it only humans can do it improvement so my first lesson for eclipse people are though you have got a position you have got a position though undeserving now that you know it the first thing because it gives illusion as i told you no grahan it gives illusion so become neutral think of things think of the reality become rational at the first step and for that practicing meditation worship or anything which you think will help you into that is highly recommended that is my advice number 1 advice number 2 is though you have got a position you are not capable of but now you have got it try to see inside yourself and try to have the capability but you know see this is the problem this is the problem even sages like parashar have criticized it a lot parashar have told that one born in solar or lunar eclipse will have diseases financial problems fears and miseries all of these things they have told so bad result they have told but as i told you this gives some good result also the bad results are also there this is called ashub this is called inauspicious birth parashar have listed it in inauspicious birth and why it is inauspicious because the mind of the person is so self engrossed the mind of the person is so much in itself that he is not able to realize that i have got this position only because of luck rather than working on making himself worthy you have got the position without your luck that is all okay you have got the position with your luck though you were not eligible for it that is okay but now you should work on improving your eligibility but this is called in auspicious birth because they generally remain ignorant they don't look into themselves but put blames on others they themselves will cheat others and will want that no one should cheat them they themselves will not be a good student but will want their students to be a good student such ignorance comes there one does not looks into themselves there is a saying in hindi bura jo dekhan main chala bura na mile ya koi jo tan khoja apna mujhse bura na koi so this they have to practice but unfortunately because it is an inauspicious combination they cannot do it they don't do it this is the point number 1 but it should be done it should be done if they want their real betterment otherwise what will happen they will keep on adding to their bad karmas they will suffer in this life or next life there is no two thought about it right hindu religion is very clear that any karma that you do will not go without paying back 
right it is told in vedant that karma can found karma will find the doer and give the result like a calf can find his mother cow in a group of 1000 cows right in the same manner the result is there so first of all this should be done though difficult but is not impossible at all right now the thing is see this person is egoistic this person is very self engrossed this person thinks that only i am eligible for things he have a lot of shortcomings right he is not eligible for the position he is situated in but what happens nowadays people are not able to realize it on the other hand those good people who will put fingers on him because he always what can happen people who are spiritual people who are into worshiping god they will always get the grace of god and by grace of god they will be able to find who is a good person and who is a bad person i always say the high knowledge of teaching that i gave the original knowledge of the shastras that i share one cannot consume it until and unless they have a regular worship procedure they have a strict spiritual practice that is needed so that you can understand the original knowledge of the vedas you see understanding a particular youtube video understanding a movie needs no eligibility from your part but vedic knowledge will need it gayatri chanting is needed regular practice of spirituality is needed now what happens on the other hand see what is the time today it is kali yuga in kali yuga what is happening negative energies is on the rise i don't know this comes from mahabharat or not but there is a saying in our north india which uh, we have heard <coughs> growing up right that is ramachandra keh gaye si aise aisa kali yuga aayega hans chugega dana tin ka kauva moti khayega that means sri ramachandra told sita that sita kali yuga is coming in this time the divine swan will have to feed on leftovers of people wherever the crows will eat pearls and good food right so much is told about much is told about the negativities of kali yuga in all the vedas and puranas that is there very clear so the effect of kali yuga what it makes that it makes people believe that this person this eclipse born person is a very good person this is the effect of kali yuga and you see the maya of rahu the maya of rahu was not found by any other god was only found by sun and moon so when other gods could not find the maya how can a normal person find it so when a good person will say that this eclipse person is fake he is faking no one will believe it they can only that person who have a strict spiritual practice who have the grace of god can actually realize that this is the mayavi rahu who have the blessing of vishnu when they will say these things no one will believe them on the other hand they themselves can land into troubles because this is the trait of kali yuga first of all that the bad people will be on the rise and good people will be somehow in the side this is point number 1 secondarily because even gods cannot know about the illusion of rahu how can normal people know for this particular reason there is astrology you will get the divine sight after doing pinans for thousand of years or you can just use astrology astrology tells you the nature behavior character of the person in advance that is the basic purpose of astrology see what a person will become after marriage what will be the changes in his thought mind thought mind body you cannot know beforehand until and unless the person is married but astrology is only for the same purpose so that it can tell you that if these two people are married this person will change like this this person will change like that this is what you exactly call match making right astrology is for the same purpose only so that you know that nature behavior character of the person you know those events in the life of the person which are yet to, which are in which are to happen in future have not happened yet that is the basic point that is why astrology is for this particular reason you know whenever in spiritual circles at other places whenever someone is given a position whenever is someone is given power their horoscope should be thoroughly checked for the best result right the yogis the great sages already know about horoscopes but you will see any great sage that is that have been born always believes in astrology or they use some method of 
a forecasting. For this particular reason only, because the hidden nature traits behavior of the person which is to unfold in the rest of the lifetime can be known in advance by astrology only. Right? So this was the point number two. Leave what the world should do for the eclipse person. My advice is, okay, we, you have been lucky to get a position that is very, very good. Now just don't remain unworthy. Increase your worth. Increase because see, even demons, even the guru of demons, Sukrachari, have been able to get the blessings of Lord Shiva. Bali have been able to get blessings of Vaman. Uber also have been able to get blessings of Shiva. Even demon can get blessings of the Supreme God because he is very merciful and can take their life to another step, can take their life to another level. That is the same thing that you should practice that you should have as your motive, right? To make yourself worthy, go into the mercy of God, purify yourself, make good karma so that this life and the next life of yours become good. And no one knows what one is going to suffer in their personal life. No one knows. No one can understand the pain. No one sees it. If you do bad karma, only you will suffer. Others cannot. That is a very, very simple task, right? Now see, according to the house where this eclipse is happening, in that house, this Maya will be there. Right? Person will have something that he is unworthy of depending on the house. So if it is happening in 10th house, one gets a professional position that he is unworthy of. If it is in the 4th house, one gets property vehicle that he is unworthy of. Right? If it is in the 5th house, one gets a children that he is unworthy of. But further, if they are, if they will practice ignorance only, see, time is given. What happens generally in eclipse combination, position, etc., is given beforehand. And after that, the bad result comes after 10, 15 years. This 10, 15 years is the time granted to you by the merciful God to make yourself worthy enough of it. If you don't make, then the bad results come and it is the work of astrology so that you identify this is an illusion given by eclipse and the person should make themselves capable. Not only this, there is one more aspect to it. Right? This is understood, you should make yourself well worthy. Now there is one more thing. What happens? Because, because Maya is there. No, because Maya is there. So because of Maya, people will believe the thought of this person, they will follow this person, but ultimately will be cheated. If this combination is happening in 10th house, this is happening in profession. See, what is the combination for being a fake? You people may know that Guru Chandal is a combination for having a bad guru. But what is the combination for becoming a bad? This also should be understood. So you see planets in Kendras and Konas to each other support each other. That's a basic principle. Planets conjoined, planets mutually aspecting. They are also helping supporting each other. So this Grahan combination, what is happening? Maya is here. Rahu is not a god, but he sits in the line of God. He fakes to be. Right? So this person, no, the bad person, the unworthy person, the fake person is this eclipse combination. If it is happening in the 10th house, person is faking in his profession. If it is happening in 9th house, person is faking religious activities, person is faking his guru position. If it is happening in Kendras to Jupiter, in trines to Jupiter, person is also faking his guru position, person is also faking his knowledge. This faking cannot be understood normally by people who are engrossed in Kali Yuga, but only by the devotee of God. That is okay. What this person can do, they should first of all stop faking it, accept their faults and make themselves worthy. That's the very important point. Making yourself worthy is where you can break the chain of bad karma that is to come in multiple of future lives and improve yourself. Right? That's very, very important. Another thing what happens, how will you understand that this eclipse is working? Because the eclipse is also darkness. Rahu, Ketu also represent darkness. That's why they are only identified by sun and moon. Because sun and moon reflect light. Sun and moon can. Sun makes the day. And moon lights up the night. They both are the sources of light. Mythologically speaking, the moon is not a source of light. Only sun is a source of light. But still one sun. 
mythologically speaking, sun and moon are the source of light. So generally, what happens in an eclipse combination? How you will so how you will see that it is working? You see, eclipse combination is happening in tenth house. For the first 30, 32 years of his life, the person will be doing some other profession with no trait of doing anything else. One day at the age of 30, 32, you know, Mutlub have spent quite considerable time of his professional life, some seven, 10 years. The person will suddenly realize that this profession is not for me. Some other profession is for me and they change the profession. And then such people will claim that this was my profession. I knew from day one. If you knew from day one, why did not you do it from day one? Sometimes they also said that because this is my family profession, I was born to do it. I am doing it. Why you were not doing it earlier? So such contradictory statements are continuously seen because whichever house this eclipse is happening, there is a lot of ignorance related to that house. There is a lot of darkness related to that house. Person himself is not very clear what he have to do. Person becomes opportunistic. They just take on to opportunities and it is for other people to realize that this is fake thing happening. If someone is saying that I have been doing it since, you know, like this is my family profession, this is this, this is that, that should be verified. Right. But what happens? Rahu creates a lot of illusions. So people are not able to believe that this person is faking because of effect of Kali Yuga. So bad things happen. But still. If you are having eclipse combination in a particular house, you should be very careful that regarding that particular house, things may change. See, eclipse is happening in the fifth house. Person may not want to have a child, but ultimately have a child. And then loves the child a lot. Or say the person will want to have a child, they have a child. And after the child is born, they start realizing that they actually never wanted a child. And then it leads them to do bad to the child. So such things should be very clearly understood in whichever house eclipse is affecting. If uh, uh, sun and moon are together, then it will be affecting one house only. If sun and moon are one seven to each other, it will be afflicting two houses. In that particular scenario, whatever decisions you take with respect to those houses, you have to be very, very careful. Short term decision. Let's do it for the time being. These type of decisions should be fairly avoided. And regarding that particular area of life, you should make at least a lifelong plan and work on that. only. Before doing anything, you should sit and contemplate whether I wanted to do it or not, whether I really wanted to do it or not. Will it benefit me or not? Will I always be interested into it or not? Otherwise, there will be problems. See this. Suppose this is happening in the seventh house. Generally, in such scenario, what happens? Person says that I don't want to marry. I will remain celibate. Ultimately, in old age, they get. This is okay. This is no problem. But it is only because of themselves that they have snatched themselves away from the happiness. This happens when in the eclipse combination, sun or moon are weak. When they are strong, on the other hand, what happens, the person may, if it is happening in 7th house, the person will be in a relationship and they will marry. And after marriage, they will realize that I never liked this person. I never wanted to marry this person. Why, why I did it? I got struck. And then they will start destroying their own relationship, right? So you have to think. You have to think what you really want and work accordingly. Because once again, if you don't realize the reality, it is going to give you bad result in future. And everyone, my friend in this world cries alone. No one knows your pain, your happiness. Everyone knows pain. No one knows. So ultimately, because you will suffer, you have to be careful. Only you are responsible of your life. Who else is? Karma also you are doing by your choice, not by this choice, right? So you have to be extra, extra careful about it. In today's Kali Yoga, what I have seen, see, as I have told you, Parashar have told that this person is, this person will have diseases. According to me, only if you don't realize, if you don't make yourself worthy to the position, only then you will have diseases. Otherwise not what I told you, 10, 15 years gap is there to correct your karma. Parashar further tells that this person will have financial problem in the starting. This financial problem is not there. But once again, if one does not improve their karma, 
then whatever money they have earned by being in the position for which they are unworthy for all those money will be lost in diseases fights etc will be spent in wrong type of will be spent in wrong type of karma will be spent in a karma which is not very pleasing other than that what parashar have told that there are fear and there are miseries miseries are there because if the person does not realize he will continue to commit bad karma and bad karma gives bad results so misery will already be there and fear fear of this particular reason see generally such people do not have any fear at all they are very fearless but the soul is very fearful because the soul knows that this person the soul knows somehow the subconscious mind knows that i am continuing to commit bad karma and whatever punishment i will have to go the fear of that also is there but generally what happens this fear starts coming when this financial problem diseases and misery the start which is after the time that you have been granted to correct your karma is over so the prime purpose of astrology is that you realize this thing beforehand use the time that is given as buffer time to improve your karma make yourself eligible for the position stop throwing mud at others improve yourself so that you really enjoy in life right not only this there is see there are two three more things that you should understand now this rahu ketu is they are going with sun in this particular scenario one more result of eclipse that is there is that the person also misguides other if such people get into a position of power they also misguide because their own mind is possessed by wrong thought their own mind is possessed by tamas what tamas gives ignorance ignorance about your capability ignorance about your reality in this scenario people who follow them gets ultimately cheated now basically if one is having a good horoscope one will not get struck in the work of you know one will not get struck with these people but those who have bad horoscope can be easily influenced right like an afflicted fifth house afflicted such people can easily get into the trap the problem is because illusion is there the mind of the person itself is possessed and he is far far away from reality he is taken over by the illusion of rahu people who are working under him people who are working his guidance are fairly misguided and it is only after much time one year two year three year when the person have lost his most important time of the career when the person have lost his golden period they come to realize that we are being fooled by someone who is born with an eclipse combination so this is the particular reason why astrology was developed then and there so that you can understand so that you can understand what the person is whether you should you know whether you should work under this person or not this is the prime purpose of astrology as i told you to know beforehand what is going to happen in future what is not going to happen generally people who remain under the sway of people born in eclipse combination feel themselves cheated feel themselves misguided at the end and this misguiding this cheating not only destroys their mental peace but destroys their golden time also you see time once spent never comes back so time is very important the wrong knowledge the wrong guidance motivation for wrong work given by this eclipse person destroys the precious time life mental state mental health of the people who follow them and the maje ki baat and the fun is that this eclipse person now he knows that i am not worthy person to do it he is ignorant about it he somehow have a self belief that i am the most eligible person i know everything the self belief he have and in this self belief he starts misguiding other people wasting their time putting their resources into wrong things etc etc and when these people come and tell them at the end when their everything is lost that because of you this happened that happened the person does not his conscience which is for there for every person his conscience also not wakes up because you see natural fourth house lord is moon moon is also there no moon is heart so the conscience of the person and sun is the lord of the natural fifth house intelligence so conscience and intelligence of the person does not wake up you see people like 
us we feel if someone complains that because of you this happened we feel very bad i to go into depression but these people don't go they have a very very strong habit of ignoring things they have a very strong temperament of only listening what they want to listen only speaking what they want to speak and they utterly ignore because the ignorance is a quality of tamas and tamas is very heavy here in eclipse combination rahu ketu the darkness have taken over the source of light that's why it is considered very inauspicious so the tamas so the ignorance is so great that even though people who 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 have trusted to them in past come to complain come to say come to share their feedback that because of being into your guidance because of working according to you our life is lost they remain ignorant of that and not only ignorant of that they being in position of power can never realize what harm they are doing to the society what harm they are doing to their dear followers for which they should be responsible so if you are having an eclipse combination take all of these things that i have told in a good note and whatever bad things i have told to you stop doing that contemplate and start doing good things if you know that you are born into a bad combination before you give any advice to any person before you guide any person make sure that whatever you are going to say you have thought on it thought on it well and if you have get got a position for which you are unworthy of try to make yourself worthy first before uttering a single word this way you will improve your karma and by the improvement of karma you will be a good person for the society for the world at large right this is the prime purpose that you sh- that everyone should serve right we live on earth we live the resources of earth we live on the resources of earth we live on you know we live in a community we live in a society where things are produced by everyone equally what is our responsibility to give back to planet earth by doing something good to it that should be our motive that have always been my motive right that should be motive of everyone this is what the vedas this is what the hindu dharma teach you. and lastly see i am not someone who will tell you i am going to teach you what is written nowhere etc etc all this bullshit i don't believe in so whatever i am teaching in my videos in my classes in my courses is thoroughly backed up by the hindu vedic philosophy by the words of sages and have been exhaustively tested by me before telling right so it is all the knowledge of sages and what i want that using it you should make the society a better place if there is a weakness in yourself understand it eradicate it because humans only humans have the freedom that they can become anything they can become a demon also they can become a child of god also understand your faults mitigate it by going under the mercy of god by having devotion by using knowledge by self realization make yourself a good person make yourself worthy for the society only then your life will be